Yeah, um, hi guys. Um, just want to do a quick video. I uh, haven't done anything for a while. Um, I'm up in uh, South London at the moment, uh, just up the road uh, from High Down Prison, which is literally just up there on the Brighton Road. Just uh, I could walk there literally to the prison in 15 minutes easily. So I thought today, uh, just chilling out in the garden, uh, sun's out. I thought uh, I'd just do a little story from High Down. So, yeah, going back to the 90s, and this one is about uh, jugging. Uh, someone did actually ask for this. Um, and when I say jugging, I mean uh, scalding, you know, and it's called jugging because what someone would do, obviously, it's fill up uh, one of the tea jugs, plastic jugs, with boiling water and uh, sugar, you know, and burn someone up with it, uh, you know, so um, yeah, so going back to uh, the early 90s, uh, I was on the spur, uh, I think it was house block two, um, and uh, there was a guy there, uh, I'll just call him Scottish John, obviously I can't say his name, and uh, he was there, and he was there with his son as well. He was an old Scottish villain that uh, was no longer living in Glasgow. He was living down in London, in North London. He did actually live across the road from Pentonville Prison. But uh, on this sentence, he was doing uh, five years for GBH. So he was already in there for a violence charge. Uh, yeah, so I think he was about halfway through his sentence. And uh, there was some beef going on with him and another inmate. I mean, this John guy, you know, he was virtually 50 years old, hardened villain from Glasgow. And the other guy was a Londoner um, called Steve, who was serving 12 years. So uh, basically, the argument started over uh, drugs as usually most arguments are in there, was over uh, heroin, where uh, the John guy, the Scottish guy, had uh, given uh, Steve some money uh, for a couple of bags of heroin, you know, you're talking about 20, 20 quid or whatever, and uh, you know, the guy Steve, you know, he's meant to have gone to the uh, gym to meet somebody from a different wing, and he was meant to have uh, come back with the gear for uh, Scottish John. But uh, obviously he didn't, you know, he'd made up some cock and ball story uh, that he'd got ripped off or, you know, by some other fella. And, uh, you know, nothing happened there and then. And this altercation happened a few days after. Obviously John gone back to his cell, you know, and was stewing on this for a few days. So uh, what happened was a few days later, John's uh, come out of his cell, you know, with his uh, water jug, the plastic jug, the tea jugs, which are uh, made out of about two millimeter plastic, quite sturdy, you know, uh, these things. And they've got a handle on them that you hold there like that. Uh, got a tea urn, you know, filled it up with boiling water. It's got sugar in there as well. And gone into the other guy's cell. This is on the ones. First thing in the morning. Yeah, the guy wasn't in bed, the other guy, Steve. He was sitting down at his table. You know, it's breakfast time, having a cup of tea. John's gone in there. I've seen this, you know, from outside the cell. John's gone in there and jugged him with the uh, boiling water and the sugar. Geezer screamed, horrible scream, almost like the sound of a pig. But John, he hasn't stopped there. He's continued after he's thrown the boiling water and sugar over Steve, who's ripped him off for 20 quid. He's uh, carried on and proceeded to uh, smash him in the face. Oh, I'm sorry about this, guys. Someone's cutting their, uh, their grass. Uh, he's proceeded to smash him in the face with the plastic jug. Uh, you know, quite a few times, 12, 13 times. Uh, 
uh, sorry guys. I'm just going to light a cigarette. Yeah, sorry about that guys. Uh, one of the neighbours has obviously uh, decided to uh, do a bit of streaming because the weather's changed a bit and it's been raining for a couple of days. So where was I? Yeah, uh, John is in the cell. You know, he's jugged this guy with the sugar and the water, thrown it over him. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry guys, where was I? Yeah, uh, really sorry about that. It's just uh, some people, the neighbours are having some gardening done. Uh, yeah, so basically, where was I? Yeah, uh, the Scottish guy is in the cell. He's jugged this guy with a boiling water and the sugar, chucked it all over his face. The guy's screaming, and then it's like a blitz attack with the jug. He's smashing him in the face, it's hitting him over the head. There's blood coming out of his face. Obviously, it's opened him right up. And you know, like I said before, he's smashing him until the jug broke on this guy's face. He must have hit him over 10 times you know so basically uh the bell has gone off the screws have got wind of it john's gone out of the cell gone upstairs uh, cleaned himself up changed his clothes or whatever and hidden away but uh screws are everywhere bells are off you know they're running everywhere they've all come on the spur and basically we've all got uh locked up in our cells uh they're locking people up in anybody's cells you know, whatever cell you was out stand, standing outside, you was locked up in there, you know. Uh, so they locked everyone up, basically, and they did take John away, and uh, he was shipped out to Belmarsh, I think. I think he was on the uh, uh, the ACAP bit, the Wendy House, uh, the HSU on Belmarsh, and uh, there was outside court. Uh, but I do know, because I see, see him a couple of years later, while he just as he was finishing off his five uh, and he showed me all the pictures that they used in the court case you know uh, the guy he had hundreds of stitches and uh, his face it was just a mess there was literally not much left of it you know there was all scars everywhere hundreds of stitches all over his face oh it was a mess so basically yeah it went to court obviously crown court and uh, John got a not guilty you know, and uh, ended up finishing his sentence eventually uh, at CCAT, his original five year sentence. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's it, guys. Just a quick story there about the sort of thing you can expect to see in maximum security prisons. Uh, you know, and these days everyone's got kettles. Uh, the story I've just been talking about was back in the early 90s when it was tea urn and that, you know, if you wanted boiling water. You, uh, you'd you have to uh, go to the tea urn on the ones. Uh, you didn't have kettles and uh, set, uh, televisions in your cell then. Uh, I do remember the first place that I know of that had TVs was the Mount, which was the sea cat. Uh, the Mount in Hemel Hempstead, that way. So, um, anyway, guys, just a quick catch up. I uh, just want to say thanks to all the subs, everyone, all the viewers and that. And uh, I'll try and get something uploaded soon. Um, uh, just give you a quick catch up of what's been happening me, with me. Um, I'm back up in London uh, these days, you know, so... Uh, uh, which is good for me to be back up in London, you know, and uh, obviously seeing my family more, you know. Uh, you know, because they're all just around the corner from me and stuff like that. So, yeah. And uh, that's it, guys. I hope you're all well, and uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.